Okay, so um, my name is Mr. Grant and I will be your teacher for algebra. So I want to spend a little bit of time talking about a few things um, in the syllabus. And uh, first off, the easiest way to get to, to contact me is via my email address, which is durantss at wi.k12.mi.us. Another way to get a hold of me is uh, my school line, which is 734 seven five nine five one seven six um i check my email or my email daily and i check my voicemail every day but the best way to get a hold of me is um either one of those two methods now let's talk about a couple of other things my twitter handle which i suggest all of you to follow me on is uh, mr durant so you can feel free to follow me on um, Twitter a uh, couple other things you need to know is there are going to be a series of probably like five websites that we're going to use for this course the first one would be my web uh, my YouTube channel um, it's Mr. Durant RHS I highly highly suggest that you uh, subscribe to that channel I'm also going to use Moodle the Moodle website is moodle.risa.net forward slash wy we're going to use edpuzzle.com, at goformative.com, in the Google Classroom. Now, uh, there is occasion where you're going to be kind of stuck on some stuff, so here is a homework hotline that you can call me, and I will uh, call you right back. Uh, you can leave me a voicemail, 734-288-8549. Now, if you're not comfortable doing that, that's fine. Another big thing I use is remind. The remind code, so you're, if you're going to text, uh, the number is 81010 and if in the body of the text you type at Mr. Durant that's our secret code um, I use remind I'm sure most of you have used it before but it's a text messaging software um, it records everything I can send you, you can you can message me that way um, whatever you want to do I will probably send you probably one or two texts per day especially since this class is the flip class which um, is basically uh, you're going to have to be watching some videos that I record for you um, each and every single day. Now the course description you guys can go ahead and read that but some class requirements that you need you're going to need a binder, you're going to need a pencil or pen, you're going to need a scientific or graphing calculator. Okay, I prefer the Texas Instruments but if you don't want to use those that's fine. Um, the next thing is rules. There's three things. One, respect you know all you gotta do is respect yourself respect me respect others treat everybody like you want to be treated and everything will be fine uh, another rule is don't touch anything on my desk shelves walls or whatever without perm permission and the third rule is do not waste our time now there are a series of classroom procedures that you need to adhere to uh, the first one is no food or drink is allowed in this classroom the only acceptable beverage is water so um you know, don't come with Propel, don't come with uh, sort of pop, that sort of thing. Uh, water is the only acceptable beverage. All your cell phones need to be turned on vibrate or on silent. Cell phones are permitted in my class um, before or after school or when used for educational purposes. Well, what does that mean? Well, you can download um, the Desmos app, you can use it, your calculator if you want, um, whatever you need to do, but educational purposes only. Uh, another thing is no electronic devices like Game Boys and that sort of thing are provided or permitted in the classroom. You need to try to make, you know, do your best to try to be here before the tardy bell rings. Speaking of the bell, um, that doesn't mean that you can leave. I'm the one that usually dismisses you. For the most part, we will be all set, ready to go before the bell rings, but um, it's just me, that's what I do. Okay? And the sixth thing is please bring your stuff to class every single day. Now, uh, this year is something quite different as far as how are you going to be graded. 50% of your grade is hands-on activities, tests, projects. One would call those formative assessments. 30% would be your binder. And 20% is homework or your classwork or what have you. Now, 
non-academic grading, which is attendance and participation, are factored into the overall car marking grade. That basically means if you're on the borderline between a B plus, B minus, um, or B, uh, B plus or B, if you're doing really well, you're in class every day, then sure you're going to get your B plus. But if you miss a bunch, well, you're probably going to get your B. Um, you know the grading skill is provided for you and the big thing is, is if you're absent it's your responsibility to get the assignments you know with this day and age social media all that good stuff there's no excuse for you to not to know what's going on and again I'll try to put everything on Google Classroom um, and uh, you need to make sure you're aware of that you have two days from um, the date you return to turn in any assignments any unexcused target result in a loss of 1% of your quarter grade now class structure. I'm going to go through this a little bit, talk a little bit about it. Um, first thing, every student will have a binder and will be collected at various times throughout the semester. In fact, I'll probably collect it each semester maybe three times total. It's a big deal though. Okay, All of your work, everything you do goes into your binder. It's kind of like a portfolio, of, uh, uh, a showcase of all your good, bad, and your ugly stuff. All right. Students are encouraged to participate, encouraged to ask questions, and make appropriate comments on all topics discussed. So I want you to have fun. I want you to try to ask questions when need be. Tests are multiple choice, and you may use your binder for reference. Quizzes you will receive partial credit for showing work. You will be allowed test corrections for half credit, or you may be able to do test redos, and that that varies between. Um, the score that you get. You need to be eligible for test corrections. It has to be a 70 or better. If it's below a 70, then you're going to have to do a test correction. All right? um, in class activities are graded the same exact as test scores. Um, and online, record, online homework is a requirement for this course, and the LMC is open every day before or after school for your convenience. So we will be flipping portions of this course. This is why the internet is vital, and I'll talk more about that. Um, in the very near future so um hopefully this makes sense i look forward to seeing you in class real soon and uh may the force be with you